up guys this is wild riders 308 here and this is a request from my friend bryce he wants to know how to take apart his taurus g3 well i don't have a taurus g3 but i got a taurus gs slim yeah g2 slim this is my wife's and uh this ain't mine obviously i ain't gonna carry this color it's like tiffany blue but uh it's the same take apart concept i'm pretty sure as a g3 so we're gonna do it all right, so first we're gonna take our mag out and we're gonna make sure it's clean. We're gonna make sure, we're gonna actually look in there just in case it's malfunctioning. And uh, it's just like a Glock, guys. You know, just take it, lock it back. It's the easiest way. Pull these things down, unlock it, and pull the trigger. And it should go forward. Pull that like that, and bam. See? Take your freaking, your recoil spring out, your barrel. Got right there, you got your slide, recoil spring, and you got your barrel. All right, want to clean them up, especially your little, your little feet ramp right there because it gets all oily and gummy. Wife don't shoot this a lot, so it's not going to be all dirty as most guns would be. Wipe the barrel down, wipe the slide down, just get most of the dirt out. We do have a cleaning kit, but today we're just using a rag and a and uh, some Q-tips and some Lucas oil. Wipe everything down, get the dirt down. Wipe the recoil spring down because it gets all dirty with that black soot. The car we build up. Wipe the lower down. All right, so uh, I'm gonna clean the side of the barrel. Make sure no, no obstructions in there. Q tip. I'm using the Q tip and a rag because most people don't have a cleaning kit when they get their first gun. And y'all can see it's not that dirty. She don't shoot it that much. That's all I got off of the whole gun. So we're gonna take our Q tip. We're gonna pour some oil on it. Rub it in some places. We're gonna, this is how we're gonna clean the gun right here with this oil. So we're gonna rub it down, rub it in, rub it around, rub this, rub it in, because this oil is gonna pick up that dirt a lot more. Rub it in there, rub it everywhere. Just look, y'all ain't rubbing nowhere special. I ain't trying to hide nothing. Just clean it everywhere. Clean that crack. Cause if you don't clean that crack and it gets dirty in there, this stuff will get all fucky. Excuse my language. Please don't demonetize me YouTube. Okay. Now we're gonna wipe. Then we're gonna oil this thing. Those cracks I just showed y'all to clean. We're gonna put a drop of oil at the top. And then drop it all the top of both sides. And we're just going to let that drop slide all the way down. While that's doing that. Oh, I should do it. Alright, we're going to hold that for a second. Here, put another drop in the middle to, to speed up the process. This doesn't hurt. Extra oil don't hurt. It just makes it a little bit more dirty sometimes because it collects that dirt. And uh, let's see. Let's get another Q-tip and put some oil on it. Put a little oil drop on the table. Take a look at this. And we're just gonna rub it everywhere. That you think that's this this contact points, you know what I mean? This gun don't get shot enough, so I can't really see the contact points in there where the barrel slides. Do the same thing to the barrel. Where you think it's gonna contact all the contact points. So put some more oil on our Q-tip. All the contact points. And here, in those cracks, put a drop of oil. Because that's going to help your slide slide. Not usually don't wipe up any access or anything. I just run like that. So, what I do is I put my barrel in. 
Stuff only goes in one way, nothing goes in like it should. I'm gonna put the oil, I'm gonna keep the oil on there, put your slide on. Lock it back, oh, not lock it back, you just cock it. Trigger. Watch it, this thing has second strike capabilities, so you pull trigger, it don't matter. Second, second strike capabilities means so, let's say if you have a light primer strike, when you shoot it, you can shoot it again. See? Alright, y'all have a good day. Please like and please subscribe.